guys, I'm trying. Sycamore, welcome back. Today is Monday, December 12th, and let's get started with this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Maddie. And hello, I'm Charlie. Let's all please stand, place our hand over our heart, and join us to honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Keep doing the right thing to earn those PBAIS first class tickets towards the next incentives. Yes, keep choosing to do the right thing everywhere and anywhere. Yes, good choices are happy choices and help lead to positive, productive, and successful lives. Teachers, keep doing the amazing work you do and promoting awesome choices with PBIS first class tickets. Okay, we've got a lot going on this week. Mark your calendars. Good luck to everyone auditioning for Footloose today, December 12th, and this Wednesday, December 14th, after school from 3.15 through 5 p.m. in the choir room. Thursday, December 15th, our orchestra concert grades 7 through 12 perform at the high school auditorium at 7 p.m. Complete surveys on the communications classroom and FYI, computer science coding activities will remain on the SJHS News Crew classroom code, OZU JS35 through winter break, or complete your hour of code activity during flex spell, study hall, or at home. is going to be around for a long time. Creative Writers, this Wednesday, December 14th, is the deadline for the Montgomery Women's Club Creative Writing Contest. Turn your items into the Google Classroom. Again, that code is PGHDLQA. Winter Dance is this Friday, December 16th. Plan to dress casual or plan to dress up. Your choice. Everyone looks comfy in their pajamas today for the start of this spirit week. Tomorrow, that's Tuesday for all those still asleep in their PJs, is wear your holiday headgear. Wednesday is candy cane day, wear your red, white, and stripes. Thursday is ugly sweater day, and Friday is winter wonderland whiteout day, wear your winter co wonderland colors, blue, white, silver, etc. Contest during your flex spell. We have an opportunity to name our new cafeteria. If your recommendation is chosen by district office, you will receive a pizza party during flex and all-out bragging rights. Fill out the form shared by your flexball teacher. Multiple submissions are accepted. Please submit all names by this Friday at 11.45 a.m. Now over to Mr. Cern and Mr. Dedro with our character awards. Good afternoon, Sycamore, and welcome to this week's installment of our Papa John's Character Awards. Hope you had a good weekend. We had a great weekend. How about you? Yeah, it was good. Sorry about your Browns. Yeah, well, we're like I said, we're used to it, and uh, I tell you, the Bengals are looking great. Joe Burrow's having a MVP year, and um, Jamar Chase, 15 catches? No doubt. Man, that's fantastic, so good for that. Um, this week's Character Award goes to Christian Fig, and it says, even though you are really goofy... Sometimes you always make people's day better with your jokes and your kindness. And I've had an opportunity to meet Christian, and I can definitely support uh, what this person says. It's awesome, great, great write-up, thank you. And this week we have Kyir Clark, and I had an opportunity to watch him wrestle on Saturday. Always represents Sycamore in a first-class manner. Did a great job, and uh, and really had a good tournament. So congratulations on it. But someone wrote about Kair saying he has made me look at myself, and since then I've improved my self-control. Kair has always made me a better person to those I care about, and has been very inspirational. Kair is a great person, and he has a very strong heart. So congratulations. Whoever wrote this, thank you for writing it. I, I will second that, and uh, and uh, we're lucky to have Kyer here at school. Hey, we visit classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy. Next, Students of the Week and Athletes of the Week with Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It is now t my time, now it is time, sorry, to present this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first athlete is Rosa Lloyd. All right, and Rosa was nominated for seventh grade basketball. Which team? B team. The B team gold. Yeah. Okay, the seventh grade gold team. So, 
Rosa, she works hard in practice every day. She's an unselfish and quiet leader on the team, and she has a great basketball IQ. Um, she Her skill in the set, set on the floor is dramatically improved, including shooting and even winning free throw contests. Um, as a seventh grader, she can play any position, and she asks nothing in return for her hard work. So congratulations, Rosa, for being our seventh grade athlete of the week. There's your right up. There's your certificate and your write up, dear. Thank you. All right. Our next athlete of the week is Jackson Richmond. All right. And Jackson, is this seventh grade basketball as well? Yeah. All right, seventh grade basketball. Uh, Jackson continues to work hard. He's becoming a great low post player. Pushed him down in the post. He always gives his team a great effort and knows where to be on the court at the right place at the right time. Um, he's improved since open gym, and we're looking forward to watching his continued progress in the future. So, Jackson, congratulations for being Athlete of the Week. There's your certificate, and there's your write-up. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, now we got Athletes of the Week. Now we're going to do some Students of the Week. All right, so our first student of the week is Allison Ward. All right, and Allison was nominated by Dr. Santangelo. Uh, for being safe, for being responsible, and being a problem solver. So that makes Allison student of the week. So Allison, you get this, your certificate. And of course, we can't leave out some Chick-fil-A. Our next student of the week is Julian Steckel. How you doing, Julian? I'm good. How are you? Cool name, by the way, Julian. Thank I like that. All right. Julian is nominated by Mrs. Shelt for student of the week for being safe, for being responsible, being a problem solver, and being responsible. Respectful. So Julian gets a certificate and he gets Chick-fil-A too. There you go, Julian. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least, come on down, Josiah. Our last student of the week is Josiah Danzer. And Josiah was nominated by Mrs. Schlager. Now Josiah and all of our student of the week, again, were nominated for being safe, being responsible, being problem solvers, and being respectful. Those are our PBIS uh, characteristics. So congratulations to our students of the week. Josiah, here's your certificate. You got some Chick-fil-A too. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. Give it up for our students and athletes of the week. As they left me here hanging. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris, and congratulations to our athletes of the week and students of the week. And now for Noah's interviews. Hello, I'm Noah, and this is Mr. Howe. And we're just going to go right to it and ask you a few questions. I'm ready. Okay, okay. What would you do, like what would you name your boat if you had one? A boat? Yeah. Uh, seaworthy. Seaworthy, okay. But like with like just a C. Why? Uh, that's my favorite letter. Okay, okay. What is the most useless invention? Uh, like the avocado peeler things. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit? Yeah. Uh, pineapple. And why? Uh, because it's delicious. Okay. I, I, okay. I haven't really okay. thought about that very much. I mean, okay. Respectable. Respectable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye. Thanks, Noah. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Nolan D. and Ms. Suleiman, who celebrate today. Now over to Carter with Top 10. What's up, everyone? I'm Carter with your Top 10 survey results. Last week, the question was, what is your favorite soda? In third place, we have root beer. In third place, we have Diet Coke. In third place, we have Fanta. In second place, we have Coke. And first place, we have Dr. Pepper. This isn't very much. So we're going to continue this survey throughout this week. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks, Carter. Now for our joke of the day. Who are Frosty's parents? I don't know. Who? Mom and Popsicle. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sycamore, let's house some spirit and wear some holiday headgear tomorrow. Also, be kind and follow PBIS expectations. Thanks for watching. Be positive. No bad vibes, guys. We will see you tomorrow, Sycamore. And of course, go waves! And, and stay classy, Sycamore! <laughs> and stay classy, Sycamore. Who will be named our Sycamore top cop? Of course, Officer Adi is the top cop. Go out and vote weekly on the Sycamore Facebook page for our favorite school resource officer. Go, Officer Adi! This guy right here. <laughs> this, this dude. <laughs> and stay classy, Sycamore.
Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but mainly stay classy, Sycamore. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Sycamore. This is uh, Officer Audi signing out. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>